Prague TV was the first uh, randomized trial that was completed comparing a new form of interferon alpha, ROPEG interferon alpha, to hydroxyurea in patients with polycythemia vera as first-line therapy. So the results of the Proud PV study were presented at ASH last December, showing that interferon was not inferior to hydroxyurea for achieving a good control of hematological parameters and complete hematological response was achieved in the same proportion of patients with both drugs. So this was an important point, but we took advantage of this trial for the subgroup of patients enrolled in France across the 300 patients enrolled in Europe. In the subset of patients treated in France, we had the opportunity to study their hematopoietic progenitors before treatment and after one year of treatment in both arms of treatment on hydroxyurea and interferon alpha. And interestingly, we knew for several times, we have shown that, and others, that interferon alpha was able to target specifically cells with JAK2 mutation, for example, by taking the cells, treating them in vitro with interferon, etc. But here, we wanted to confirm this specific impact on mutant cells in vivo when the patients receive the drug. So we pick up the bone marrow cells before starting the treatment. Patients receive their treatment for one year and at the evaluation after one year of therapy, we pick up again the bone marrow cells, made group colonies in vitro, pick the colonies and look at which colonies had the mutation or not. And what we could see in this trial is that patients receiving interferon, ROPEG interferon, had a very important decrease in the proportion of colonies with the mutation after 12 months of treatment. This proportion was reduced by more than 60%, and in comparison, treat patients who received hydroxyurea in the trial reduced only by about 10 to 20%. So we could confirm in vivo, in, in real life, let's say, that the two drugs had a different impact, although they, re they reduced the blood count similarly, interferon could act on the bone marrow progenitors by reducing the malignant cells and promoting the restoration of normal hematopoiesis. So we hope that this will, on longer term, translate in maybe, let's say, what kind of operational cure of the patients with interferon, although hydroxyurea could be only symptomatic and uh, allows a good control of counts, uh, avoids some complications, but if you stop the drug, the cells are still there and the disease can proliferate again.